Hi everyone. We're going to find the solution set for each polynomial. These are inequalities and these are the four problems we're going to do. I don't know how to spell inequalities. Um, these are the four, I guess that's how you spell it, All right, that we're going to do in this video. And basically um, this just means where um, say for number one x minus five times x plus two is negative so we want negative here this means where is it positive this is where is it negative and this is where it is positive okay so the first one we're going to do is number one and if you think you can do that one and you want to scroll down and slide through the slides you can um, pick either one, two, three, or four. So the first one we're going to do is x minus five times x plus two is negative. So the first thing we're going to do, let's go ahead and write our function. Um, if we were write, writing f of x, this would be f of x equals x minus five times x plus two. We're going to use this on our chart. And so our zeros are of f are x equals 5 and x equals negative 2. Remember, that's where y is 0. So that's where our f of x is 0. So this is our zeros, and we have to find the solution set. So what we're going to do is a table. And we have our intervals here. Since our zeros are x equals 5, or I can write it this way, um, y, uh, 5 comma 0 and negative 2 comma 0, what we're going to do is we're going to pick intervals uh, starting with negative 2 as negative infinity to negative 2 and then we're going to pick negative 2 to 5 and then we're going to pick 5 to infinity all right now we're going to choose a number in each of these intervals plug it in our function and again our function was f of x equals x minus 5 times x plus 2 so for the first one I'm going to go ahead and pick negative 3 and the second one I think I'll pick 0 that's always a good number to pick because it's easy and for the last one I'll just pick 6 and I plug these values in to my function and get the value. So the value, if I plug in negative 3, that's going to be 8. If I plug in 0, I'm going to get negative 10. And if I plug in 6, I'm going to get 8. Therefore, this is a positive number. A negative 10 is a negative number and 8 is a positive number. Well, we want negative, so we want where this is negative. So we're going to just pick um, the values that are in the negative realm. So, and that would be this section here. So my solution set is for x is x is going to be in between negative 2 and 5. We can't put an equal because there's no equal under here. Okay, the next one we have is f of x, or um, we have x squared minus 4x is positive. I can factor out an x and I get x minus 4 is positive. And I'm going to go ahead and write my function as f of x equals x squared minus 4x. 
So my zeros are um, x equals zero. That just means I have zero comma zero and x equals four. That means when y is zero, x is four. All right, so we're gonna use the intervals We're going to use, um, since one of my zeros is negative, uh, my zero is zero, and my other zero is four, I'm going to go from negative infinity to zero. Then I'm going to go from zero to four, including this. All right, and then I'm going to just take this one and go four, to infinity. Now, I'm going to choose numbers in this realm. You can pick any numbers you want. I'm going to choose negative 1. I'll choose 1 here. And I'm going to choose 5 here. Now, recall we want f of x equals x squared minus 4x. And we want this to be positive. So when I plug in my value into this equation, I get, when I plug in negative 1, I get 5. When I plug in 1, I'm going to get negative 3. And when I plug in 5, I get 5. So my conclusion is, and all you have to do is look at the sign. This is positive, this is negative, and this is positive. Well, we want positive, and it can't equal zero. So our solution set is going to be x such that, since this is the positive, these are the two positives. The way you're going to write it is you're going to write x is less than zero or x is greater than four. I'm picking this number and this number and using those intervals. Okay, the next one is going to be uh, x squared minus 9 is less than 0. That would be f of x equals x squared minus 9, which we want it to be negative. If I factor this, this is going to be x minus 3 times x plus 3 is negative. So my zeros are 3 comma 0 and negative 3 comma 0. Those are your x-intercepts. So we're going to use those numbers to do our table. So for the negative 3, I'm going to go negative infinity to negative 3. Then I'm going to do uh, negative 3 to 3. Then I'm going to use 3 to infinity. Okay? And you just choose numbers. The ones I chose were negative 4, 0. Again, 0 is always a good one if you can use it. And 4. When I plug it in to my function, which is f of x equals x squared minus 9. When you plug these values in, you're going to get 7, negative 9, and 7. So the conclusion is this is positive, this is negative, and this is positive, and we want the negative. So the only ones we want is this column here, so my solution set is x such that x is in between negative 3 and 3. And the last one is um, this one, x squared plus x is greater than or equal to 12. So I'm going to move this um, 12 over to the left side 
and set it to zero. All right, and therefore your function is x squared plus x minus 12 is greater than or equal to zero. So you can include zero on this one. And um, when I factor this, you're going to get x plus 4 and x minus 3. So my zeros are x equals negative 4 and x equals 3. Those are my zeros of f. So I use my interval and write them out. Remember the zeros are x equals negative 4 and x equals 3. So I'm going to start with my small number. Go negative infinity to negative 4. Then I'm going to use uh, negative 4 to, th neg to negative 3. Well, it should be positive 3. Sorry. I knew something was wrong. So x equals positive 3. And then the next one is 3 to infinity. All right, and we're going to choose numbers. And the numbers we're going to choose are negative 5, 0, and 4. And when I plug my numbers in to uh, f of x equals x squared plus x minus 12, I'm going to get 8, negative 12, and 8 which means this is positive, negative, and positive, and we want this to be positive. So we're picking these two. So you just simply write um, um, x such that x is less than, and we're going to put equal now because we have an equal sign here is less than negative 4, or x is greater than or equal to 3. Okay, that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.